Meghan Markle's mother Doria Ragland was seen running errands near her home on Thursday after missing her daughter's lavish baby shower in New York City the day before. The 37-year-old Duchess of Sussex ended her $500,000 five-night trip to Big Apple when she boarded a luxury private jet bound for the UK on Wednesday evening, just hours after her star-studded party. Doria, 62, remained on the West Coast for the duration of Meghan's stay in New York City, and it was business as usual for the yoga instructor, who was donning a stylish ensemble when she headed out on Thursday afternoon. With the weather barely breaking the mid-50s in Los Angeles, she kept warm in a cozy wrap that she wore over her black sweater. Doria donned baggy, light gray dress pants that were cropped to show off her black high heel boots. She accessorized the look with silver jewelry, including earrings and a bangle on her wrist. The mom's hair was pulled back with a headband, and she was sporting a pair of glasses. Doria was ready to go with her car keys in her hand and she appeared to be texting someone on her cell phone as she walked. It is unclear if Meghan plans to meet up with her mother before the birth of her first child with Prince Harry, as she is scheduled to travel to Morocco this weekend before hosting a second, more intimate baby shower in London. The royal, who is seven months pregnant, was showered by her celebrity pals and former co-stars at the Mark Hotel in New York City on Wednesday afternoon while across the country her mother was seen walking alone in Los Angeles. Photos obtained exclusively by DailyMail.com show Doria heading out to run errands in California around the same time a harp and cotton candy machine were being rolled into the mark for her daughter's luxurious baby shower. Meghan has been the focus of much attention ever since DailyMail.com photographed her leaving Palmishianu's Greenwich Village duplex in the city on Monday night. She spent Tuesday gallivanting around town with Misha, former Suits co-star Abigail Spencer, tennis great Serena Williams, and Canadian gal pal Jessica Moroni. Meghan and Abigail grabbed lunch together before being joined by the rest of the group for dinner at the Polo Bar, the swank New York eatery owned by designer Ralph Lauren. While she was off with her friends, preparing for her swanky baby shower in New York, Doria was spotted walking her dog in L.A. neighborhood on Tuesday morning. Dressed in winter boots and a black down parka, the grandmother-to-be strolled casually along the sidewalk. She briefly let her dog off the leash and was spotted staring at her phone several times. On Wednesday, Meghan welcomed even more friends to her party at the Mark, including human rights lawyer Amal Clooney and Gail King, who scored an invitation despite being kept off the guest list at the royal wedding. Although many of the attendees were newer friends, Lindsay Roth and her sorority sister Genevieve Hillis, both of whom she met at Northwestern University, were also at the fete. Doria's absence meant that Meghan didn't have any family members at the party, including new sister-in-law Kate Middleton, though baby showers have never been a British tradition. Princess Beatrice who works in New York as the vice president of partnerships and strategy at the software company Affinity, was also not in attendance. The lavish trip to New York included a stay of at least two nights in the $75,000 per night penthouse suite at the Mark, which is believed to have been rented for two nights, a roughly $420 dinner at the Polo Bar, over $14,000 for protection, and thousands of dollars in gifts. Meghan flew home via a private jet paid for by Amal Clooney, which cost $125,000. She is also believed to have arrived in New York on a private jet, meaning her round-trip travel cost a quarter of a million dollars. Gail opened up about the baby shower on CBS this morning on Thursday, revealing that she and other guests were taught how to arrange flowers at the party. Meghan then donated those arrangements to various charities. She also said that she could not reveal the gift that she purchased for Meghan because the guest of honor did not open any of her presents, choosing instead to wait until she got back to London and was with Prince Harry. The friend's only shower was similar in many ways to her wedding last May, where it was Prince Charles who was tasked with walking Meghan down the aisle as the relationship between the Duchess of Sussex and her father became increasingly fraught. Doria has made a point to avoid the spotlight after her daughter and Prince Harry announced their engagement. She did stay in England for a few days before and after the royal wedding, 
but then quickly made her way back to California. There had been a number of reports at the time claiming that she had worked out a deal with Oprah Winfrey to film an interview with the legendary talk show queen, but those all proved to be false. In fact, Doria has yet to give a single interview about her daughter save for a few passing comments to camera crews. That has not been the case with the rest of Meghan's family, particularly her half-sister Yvonne, who now goes by Samantha. Unsurprisingly, Samantha was not among the invited guests at Meghan's shower. That is due in large part to her decision to write a tell-all about her half-sister, titled The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister. The title is a mockery of the media, Samantha previously told the Daily Mail. It wasn't me who called Meg pushy, it was the tabloid newspapers. She is not pushy. The book isn't going to be negative, it's a warm, witty, honoring book, unfortunately, the negative sing-song has gone round the world. Samantha has been both forming and brutal with her comments about Meghan depicting the Suits actress as opportunistic and calculating in interviews earlier this year before doing a complete about-face over the past few months. Meghan has said nothing about his older sister. Doria met Meghan's father Thomas Markle on the set of the General Hospital when she was hemping on the soap opera and he was working in the lighting department. They divorced when Meghan was six, and both parents spent a considerable amount of time with their daughter. Samantha and her brother Thomas Jr. are the children of Thomas and his first wife Rosalind. 